couple weekends ago, me and the boys did a game jam called Ludum Dare or Ludum Dare. We had 72 hours to make a game from scratch using Hazel. And we live streamed the whole thing. Some things went well. It works. It actually works. No, that looks sweet. That's a beautiful door animation. While others, not so much. My Streamlabs OBS just crashed. I'm sorry. But somehow we managed to come up with this game called Forest. You guys can download and play it for free using the link in the description below. We also raised over $2,000 to help people affected by the war in Ukraine. So what was our weekend like? What did it take to make this game? How many times did Hazel crash? And was it more than Premiere Pro while editing this video? Glad you asked. Let's find out. If it is somewhat of a story driven game, a little bit or whatever, there might have to be like some pages from a diary mm. that you can pick up and read. I guess that'd be cool. It's like, it could be like a puzzle game, kind of like puzzle game mixed with like, we're running through forest, something's chasing us. It's getting closer and closer. We can do something to fight it off, but eventually you just can't win. I think we'd also have to procedurally generate this, obviously. Okay, but here's the thing, right? Ghosts, we make a ghost. <laughs> you know why <laughs> ghosts are good? Because they can go through trees and hence we don't need pathfinding. Exactly. And we got started. Yeah, I'm kind of sad that it started at like 3 a.m. for me, but I guess I'll have to make do. Here she is. This is the future Cherno replacement. Please teach her Rust instead of C++. <laughs> That's funny. You can probably more or less get this to work. There you go. And then you can enter your house, which looks pretty cool. And you can close the door behind you. And yeah, we've basically got, yeah, stuff. Okay, let's get some feedback going for the gun shooting. You guys like my recoil? I think I want to add this copy paste transform thing because it's just so, such an easy thing to add and it's going to make everyone's life so much easier. This is like in NCS when you want to inspect your gun. Yeah, nice. Uh, if you go to a transform component, you can now copy it oh, and paste. And so, and the benefit is you can obviously do this while something's running. Yeah. So like you can basically pause it or whatever, right. tweak, oh, tweak so whatever nice. you want. And then instead of doing what I always do, which is saving it, yeah. um, <laughs> taking a screenshot, yeah, 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 yeah. you can just copy That's it, so nice. go back here, paste it. I was going to make an now, issue on GitLab being like, you can see it works. Be able to... Okay, that is pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Dude, that genuinely... Tim, this genuinely looks like Sparks. I was like, let's wow. make Sparks, and then I just that made Sparks. Awesome. Um, well that's not creepy at all. Cheese. This can be the cheese house. You guys can be like too young. Go into the cheese house. He'll have no idea what he's what you guys are doing. It can be our little inside joke. Can you tell that it's been like <laughs> 17 hours of streaming and four hours of sleep in the past of like 30-ish hours? My eyes are usually the tell. It's only seven hours to do a 24-hour stream. Uh, the problem is I have a wedding to be at at 10 a.m. in another city. And I have a flight to catch in an hour and a half. So, so maybe Monday to Tuesday, like that's possible. Yeah, I think people can hear you. All right, tell me a story. My story? Well, I have basically been implementing uh, the ghosts, like very rudimentary kind of ghost behavior. Right. Um, so if we think about it, like then I think the next step should just be a procedural forest generation thing where basically as you run in any direction it just generates more and more forest endlessly right yeah. so that's fun maybe that's something you could work on because i imagine that'll actually be interesting yeah you could basically like we could have some tree prefabs or whatever and you could just keep generating stuff and then i might uh, what i might do is take a look at some of the graphics stuff in the engine all right so this is what's happened during the night all these commits here i had a majority of assets before sydney that's funny that's a lot of stuff Okay, cool. Damn, Tim made a lot of assets. So yeah, so we want some transparency for the ghosts and we want some fog as well. So this fog is gonna be really simple. It's basically gonna be like, what is the depth of the pixel? And then scale that to black or to white or to whatever, that's it. And by scale it, I mean lerp it. 
So we set up some goals for the Ukrainian fundraiser, the first of which, for $1,000, is 50 push-ups. So like if we had a VEC3 fog color equals, let's make it like white as an example, then we could just say color equals mix color fog color fog amount. And so now you can see we fade off to white. Now white's probably a little strong. Now we kind of have a foggy thing, right? Okay, now obviously the fog color we can control. You can set it to anything. So we can make it like kind of a pink <laughs> or orange. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> Um, but yeah, or just classic black. Now that we've done that, let's make it be a custom shader. So you see how it says shader up here? So Hazel PBR static. I want to take that, I want to make a new shader. Um, and then that's going to be our kind of transparent shader. And that transparent shader is going to be like, kind of like, oh, we have transparent objects. This means that we will render them obviously later in the pipeline after the opaque pass. And we will um, also kind of customize that shader probably for this game, make it kind of fun. I mean, there's no way this just works, right? So yeah, now I have this weird kind of transparent thing. And if I check it, we crash. So that's exactly what I wanted, obviously. Let's try switching this to transparent. Oh, it worked, kind of. Well, not really, actually. Oh, that looks promising. Yeah, so transparency. Um, What do we want to set it to? Even at one, it looks weird just because of where it sits in the pipeline. So we could actually leave it at one. That might look like more of a realistic ghost. Even though, yeah, this is weird. Because you can only see it over geometry that isn't also too far away. Hard to say if it's a bug or a feature. Yeah, that's, that's where I'm sitting at the moment. That looks really cool though. That's it. I think that's, that's gonna be a wrap on the ghosts. Well, the model will change, but the, the shader, because that looks cool. Awesome. Try this, see if we crash or not. Um, okay. <laughs> this is interesting. I mean, this is sort of what we want, but obviously not have them beat this close together. But yeah, no, they don't, like, eventually they seem to kind of stop spawning. Five hours later. Basically, I have infinite tree gem and terrain gem working. Let's see if we can see it. We also despawn things behind us. And this looks a lot better with like fog enabled. Yeah, you can't even see it like spawning in. So I don't use like noise generation and seeds to like place the trees right now. Meaning if they get despawned and you go back, you're gonna di get some different trees. But I don't think we necessarily need to use noise and seeds for like tree generation. Like I don't think people will necessarily pay attention to exactly how the trees like spawn in. And kind of try and remember that because you're gonna have goats chasing you and you have to pick stuff up. So we may we might be able to just fake it. Everyone, Tim's back. And by now we hit our next fundraising milestone. So I turned into a human jukebox. Insert coin to continue. I'm never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run around. Cause he made a little too much money to be 20 and sad. If this is to end in fire, then we should all burn together. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's the cheese house. There oh, it is. the cheese. The cheese. That does look like slight, like yeah. sliced. Yeah. <laughs> is there a reason you're using Comic Sans for coding? Yes. It's because we hit uh, the $2,000 milestone on our Ukraine fundraiser. All right, Tim, stop what you're doing and come play my game. <laughs> so do it with a controller because it feels really nice. You can sit in my chair. I'll, I'll allow it. The boss's chair, boys. Look at me. We've made it. Go through the gate and you'll teleport to the other scene. This that one. one. That's How sick. nice and smooth that is that? is so smooth. Because Tim is doing like art or whatever. And I mean, he's, he's building this. <laughs> <laughs> art or He's building the scene. Every artist ever. <laughs> he's building the scene, which is important. But without like Peter doing his job at the moment. Oh, but Peter's just woken up. So what's the problem? There's no problem. It's, it's getting dark in the office and I'm uh, getting worried. Well, right guys, sounds like you have a game to make. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
and 16 hours and 15 minutes to do it. Well, considering Tim apparently is not stopping the stream until Game Jam ends, yeah, I think yeah, we'll be okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably not going to do that either. <laughs> Wait, not going to do that as in you're not going to stop the stream or you're not going to stay up? I'm not going to stop the stream. And they actually did that. Tim managed to hit 26 hours. Oh, Let's excellent, go. boys. Well done. <laughs> Studio Chono on You Afterburners. guys are doing me proud. <laughs> I managed to actually have time to write an original soundtrack for this game. That's what you're hearing right now. And Tim has decided to give me some of his drugs in the form of this, which is like nootropic. Apparently this is the good stuff. I have not had this before. If something happens to me, then Tim is to blame. Whoa, this is like all... Looks like it's like turmeric or something. It's so yellow. Okay, you can open it. And <laughs> this better not get all, all over me. That would be funny. <laughs> this, I knew this would happen. <laughs> Whoa, that's sick. That should play when you get killed. How fun. Yeah. You should... So I have some questions about like the books and the papers. Yeah. Are they only going to be in the village or should they spawn in the forest? No, only in the village. Only in the village. Okay, that simplifies mm -hmm. a lot of stuff. Okay. Uh, in that case, I'm basically, it's almost ready to the point where you can like start yeah. making stuff for it. Um, cool. I just have to get it. So it's the idea that you, you pick it up and you then like press like escape for an example and you put it down or should you put it like in your quote unquote inventory that doesn't exist? Uh, no. Uh, just put it back down, I think. Okay. The only other thing, and I don't know how difficult this to do, but it would be cool if you found the gun along the way and not something you spawned with immediately. Yeah, I, I don't know. I how think we should do that. Okay. This works. Good, good. Pick up the gun. Do this. Oh, yeah. That's what you want to see. Works. So, I mean, I could probably start working like a main menu. Yeah, I think so. If you've pushed that stuff, then yeah. Let's yeah, I did. I almost don't think we should have this main menu, even though Peter spent so much time on it. He's gonna be very upset. Uh, oh, good, you're back. I have some bad news. We've decided to cut the main menu. <laughs> you decided to cut the main menu? Yes, I thought it would be much better to just fade in smoothly into the world instead of displaying a black screen that says start game and options and all of that stuff. But we still need a way to get to the settings menu. But I, I don't want to make it escape because people might want to pause the game and so they'll hit escape, but actually it takes them to the settings menu and they'll have to start again. And a very stressful merge later, we had a game. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for being with us the whole three days and uh, watching us struggle and also have a lot of fun and build games and make music and perform concerts for you guys as well. Thank you for helping us raise this much. Yeah, I made a Discord channel, by the way. Um, it's called Forest. Uh, it's on my Discord server, so you can discuss the game there. And if you need help or whatever, that'll be the best line of communication. Have a great day, everyone. I'll see you hopefully soon. Goodbye. Love you all.